Leute. Hallo, hallo. Ich sage hallo. <lacht> hey Jacinta, hey Donna. How are you guys going? Hey Kylie. I have to reply to your message, Kylie. Sorry, I've been getting through them all today. How is everyone? <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> I was doing three live streams a week before I had some time off. I'm going to start doing daily live streams. So, if there are any topics, any questions you have, just let me know and I will um, answer them on a live stream uh, or do a, do a live stream about it. Um, wait till you guys see this, by the way, before I get started. Let me flip this around. How disgusting is my pool? Um, so we were away in Europe for two months, as most of you probably know. And um, <coughs> they decided not to pay the pool man. And so he decided to go on strike and not come over. And so we have a disgusting pool now um, that's full of cane toads. Um, but yeah, I'm not very happy with the real estate. And um, we pay a lot of money for this house. And um, yeah, they're not, they're not putting up their end of the bargain. Um, but anyway, <coughs> so... Still got a bit of a cough, so sorry about that, but um, I'm feeling much better. Thank you, everyone, for your well wishes. Uh, so I wanted to talk about today um, how to find your purpose because I have um, a lot of people asking me this question that they don't know what they want, they don't know what their purpose is, they have some idea, but they're not sure if they should go with this or that, and they've got, they've got all these different ideas and they don't know what to move forwards with. So, um, because I have a lot of people asking me about this, I thought I would do this live stream. So, when you have a million different ideas, I actually did a podcast on this ages ago. So, um, if you want the link to that, just let me know and I'll send it through to you about how to choose which idea to go with. Um, but when you have a couple of different ideas for a business or a program or whatever stage you're at, you know, we can self-sabotage ourselves by overthinking things, okay? Now, the way to get even more confused and even more stressed and overwhelmed is to overthink it, yeah? It's just to sit there and not take action and brainstorm and plan and meditate on it and um, put all these obstacles in your way from actually moving forwards and taking action. What I believe to be true about your purpose is your purpose is ever evolving because we are ever evolving, yeah? You're not the same person that you were a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. So your purpose and your vision and, um, and what you're doing in your life is going to change. So <clears throat> I don't believe that you should sit there and think about it and overthink it and meditate on it. Um, Hey Ria, how are you going? I, I think that comes a stage where you just think too much and you just need to take action. And so the best way to get started is to think about, um, if you're thinking about like target market and who you wanna help. Hey Kirsten, how are you? Um, if you're thinking about target market and confused about that, you wanna think about who you are and what you've been through over the last few years you were at a few years ago because we want to help people who are going through what we have been through and if you're helping people from a place of oh wow well I've gone through that then and you've come out the other side and you've reached goals in that area and move forwards in your life then you're going to be the right person to help them because they'll look at you and what you've achieved and they'll be like wow that person is the right person for me because they've achieved what I want to achieve in my life, yeah? And so that's the way to figure out the target market. Now, with how you want to help them, it again ties back to what you've been through in your life, yeah? So I'll give you some examples. When I first started out as a personal trainer six years ago, I had just had my first child. I had put on a lot of weight. I put on 20 kilos in my pregnancy. And I wanted to be able to 
find a mum's group fitness class, so outdoor fitness class with babysitting included so that I could have my daughter there with me. I didn't have to drop her off at daycare or anything like that. Um, have her with me, but not have to be pushing her in a pram whilst I was trying to get a workout in. And I wanted to be part of an amazing community of women so I could make some friends as well because I felt like I was a young mum. I was 20, not, like not super young, but young. I was 23 when I had her. Um, and um, I, I didn't have any mum friends. My friends were still going out clubbing and stuff like that. So I... I looked around out there for something like that for me and there wasn't anything out there like that. So I ended up losing the weight myself. I actually lost 29 kilos in seven months and I, uh, I did it by myself. I found it really easy because I had no money at the time so I couldn't afford um, the food that I probably would have been eating before and I had no car so I had to walk and run and cycle everywhere to get places. So that was actually the time in my life where I felt it, it was the easiest to lose weight. And so I lost the weight and had my own journey. And I then I was studying to become a personal trainer at the time as well. And so I decided to um, start a business from where I'd been at and fill that gap in the market. But also it was something that I was good at. I'd just done it for myself. It related to... Um, what I found was a struggle, but what I was good at as well. And it also helped me create this amazing community of women, which not only helps them um, meet other people and, and um, make friendships, but it also filled that need for myself as well. And, you know, you don't want to start a business because of what you need for yourself, but you want to think about what this gap is in the market and what ties into your strengths and what you have... Um, what you have, um, what's the word, what you've been through in your life. So then fast forward a couple of years later, I ended up selling that business and I started um, business coaching for personal trainers. And then it grew over time and I now help coaches as well and people in different industries. But it's that started out because I had created a $200,000 business in a very short period of time, but I saw a lot of other trainers struggling. And I see, still see a lot of other trainers and coaches struggling. And I had created this amazing success in my business, in my life. I completely changed my lifestyle and created a better life for myself and my family. And I saw a lot of other people out there struggling to make any money in their business. So I wanted to be able to help them. I wanted to help them create a better life for themselves. I wanted to help them make more money and show them that it wasn't, it didn't have to be so damn hard. And I wanted to help them create freedom in their lives as well. And that's how I started business coaching. Now, I wasn't able to let go of fitness completely because I loved it so much. Um, Thanks, Selena. <laughs> um, and so I still was in fitness for quite a while. And my second business was called Body Love Fitness. Now, that was created because I wanted to help women um, learn to love themselves and their bodies just as they are. And I wanted to help them overcome emotional eating and build their self-esteem esteem and self-worth. Because that is what I had struggled with earlier in my life. I'd struggled with emotional eating and binge eating and uh, around that time actually. But earlier in my life, I had um, gotten in with the wrong crowd and um, and it was because uh, like I, I slept around when I was younger, I did drugs um, and I was wanting this attention from guys and from other people because I wasn't happy within myself and I didn't value myself and I didn't think that I was worthy um, and I had some dad issues going on as well that I wanted him to be proud of me. Um, hey Zoe, how you going? Um, <clears throat> and so I helped these women build their confidence, build their self-esteem and self-worth and, um, because of what I had been through before. And so as you can see, I've had multiple different businesses and you don't have to change your business every time that you grow. Um, but you can change what you do within your business and add on new things as you grow as a person. And so for me, 
um, now I, I help um, trainers and coaches in, in lots of different industries not only grow their business and create that freedom and lifestyle, but I help them with their mindset as well. And I do everything that I want to do within my business. Sorry, my cats. Say hello. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I have overseas retreats. I have online coaching. I have mindset coaching. I have... Um, I have a VIP program. I have online courses. Um, so I have multiple different things within my business that tie into the things that I love to do and also ties into the things that people need and want, yeah, the strategy and the mindset to be able to create an amazing life. Um, so is this making sense, guys? Just give me a yes or a love um, or a like. <coughs> So this can relate, uh, obviously what I do is for business, but some of you I can see uh, on here don't have a business um, and that's totally cool as well. Um, this can relate to finding any kind of purpose in your life, yeah? Um, it, you just got to tie into what's important to you, what you value and um, making a difference in people's lives um, in, in your own life and... Um, and making a difference in other people's lives because of what you've gone through. Uh, you might have heard, some of you might have been on my live stream yesterday where I was talking about I'm helping uh, women moving forwards who've been in domestic violence situations. And again, that ties into where I was at uh, about nine years ago, yeah? So I want, I want some of you, let's get interactive now. I want some of you to comment what are the things that have gone on in your life that you want to be able to help people with. And does this give you a bit more of an understanding on your purpose? Yeah, so I know some of you on here, um, or actually I won't even go into people on here, um, but in general, like if, you're, if your parents divorced when you were younger, you might have a real interest in um, helping people with their relationship. If you have had some big sickness or injury in your life, you might wanna help people with that. If you have had things around self-love and self-worth, which I know most people have, or confidence, it might be helping people with their confidence and their self-esteem. If, um, if you're a mum and you struggle to put yourself first and take time out for yourself, you might be a personal trainer, but you might at a deeper level be helping mums to make themselves a priority and be a good role model for their kids by taking time out for themselves. Yeah. So <clears throat> I want some comments here, guys. Like, does this help you if you're starting out in business? This is definitely going to help you. But if you're already in business, this relates as well, because there's always a level deeper that you can go. Does this make sense, guys? And so I guess the overall thing as well to realize is you don't need to meditate on this for hours. You don't need to do a million different plans and journaling and brainstorming. You just need to decide on something and take action and start moving forwards. Okay. Overwhelm and um, overwhelm and fear gets worse. Um, <coughs> in your head, the more that you think about it. So you just got to take that first step. And when you take that first step, then you realize, oh, it wasn't as bad as what I thought. Um, you know, a lot of my clients, when they do their first live stream or they do their first seminar or they do their first online course, they're like, oh, why was I putting that off for so long? It wasn't actually as scary as I thought it was. Um, so Kirsten saying, yes, Kylie said exactly what you just said with mums making time for themselves. Awesome. Um, Selena said such perfection. Thank you. Um, and yeah, Kylie, you know, the biggest thing I found for mums, because I worked with them a lot, was that, you know, you're not, by putting yourself first, you're not putting your kids last. When you put yourself first, you're actually able to be a better mum, a better partner, a better um better person because when you take that time out for yourself you don't yell at the kids as much and you don't snap at your partner and you don't stay up late at night binge watching netflix eating a whole family block of chocolate and drinking a bottle of wine
because you've actually spent time on yourself doing something productive that actually fills you up and makes you happy. Yeah. So <clears throat> before I go, does anyone have any questions or comments? Just do a bit of a shorter one today. I don't even know how long I've been going for, actually. I just start on a tangent and go. <laughs> um, but I've done like eight phone calls today. So I want to have some time and help my partner make some, make some dinner and um, have some chill out time. Still a little bit sick. Like my, my brain's a bit foggy and, um, and I've still got a bit of a cough. So I'm making sure I'm looking after myself as well. But um, does that make sense, guys? <clears throat> awesome, Selena. And let's book in your next spiral as well, Selena. Sorry, I've taken a bit of time off and, um, yeah. Hey, Raquel. Sorry, I'm just about to hop off. But um, watch the start of this and let me know if you have any comments or questions. So if anyone has any comments or questions, feel free to send me a personal message anytime or comment on here. Would love to know what you want me to do more live streams on. So... Um, just let me know any specific topics and I will do that. And um, if you're not already in my free group, I've got my free group, which is the community of kick-ass action takers. I'll pop the link here for you guys as well, or you can search it on Facebook. So thanks everyone for jumping on and I will talk to you all soon. Have a good night.